You know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking of using a paper on the inside. That's what I mean with the flag yeah. ideas, no? That's what you mean also with the filters, with filters or... Yeah. Hi, I'm Casper and I'm working in the research group that is researching size matters. The wind tunnel today was used for sound checks and sound tests to get a feeling of the relationship between wind and strings that are vibrating and we did this by putting a piano inside the wind tunnel and normally we do all kind of smoke tests and flags and all kind of tests but today we really concentrated on getting sounds out of these instruments. where you put one power and then you have this feedback <laughs> of one tone and again power and you have feedback of another tone. It's amazing. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to put it out. These old microphones do not work. They really don't work. Uh, it's just somewhere. Um, Andrew, I'm a sound engineer. So I brought along some equipment, some microphones, and some other spooky gear. Well, Kasper came with this idea to do recordings in the wind tunnel. So we started with only microphones and seeing how the microphones react in wind, how the van Karman vortex, that's the whistling sound, occurs only on microphones and then we start with objects like flags and then a wind harp and then even a piano that we opened up well, that was opened up and we recorded that that was really amazing Take The machine is like an animal, it's alive, it's very exciting objects to work with. It's not just a machine, it's more. Uh, 
um, the wind tunnel has many meanings for our team. It is uh, sometimes a human being because it has its own life and its own moments of um, despair. Maybe that's the right word. Uh, I enjoyed building it and I will hopefully continue to operate it in different ways because it's still surprising us. The next thing would be tubes. No? Yeah. Ah, I have one like this here. You have a tube here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, what I mean is uh, this one we will try out too. But I mean a physical tube. Ah, okay. like, a, like a pipe. Yeah. And then we have at least the frequency of this. Yeah. Uh, the pipe like, length. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, What we did when we recorded the microphones was not the purpose of the microphone. Usually the microphone is used to pick up a sound. We just stuck it in the wind channel. So the wind would have an effect on the microphone. And there is this typical noise, you know, when wind blows into a microphone, is this sort of just chaos. But by angling it and finding the right position, the wind and probably the, the grill of the microphone or sharper edges would cause this whistling sound. I think you just have to take real good care in preparing, in getting the right mics in the right position and leveling it all out because then when the recording is started, you can't do anything anymore. It's just like, it just has to happen. And this can be done in many ways, like flags and smoke and um, uh, pigments and um, leaves and seeds and anything that can fly basically and on the other hand this attracts and sucks people to investigate and see what is happening in the laboratory that shows something invisible. The wind tunnel is part of the research group for transdisciplinarity in the department of transdisciplinarity and we build the wind tunnel to research different matters as in visual and sound and theory and art history. I am Irene and I am the wind tunnel operator No? Yes. Okay. Uh, the wind tunnel is a space between dream and reality. So I think that we are trying to operate it the best way. Uh, hello, my name is Yen Junji. Uh, I'm very happy to take part in this um, project. And uh, for me, when we uh, start the every text, uh, we don't know uh, how is the end and uh, how is it, it uh, looks like. I mean, um, uh, it's like a journey for me uh, because uh, you have an idea uh, what it, uh, the destination looks like and uh, uh, what kind of uh, image you were seeing uh, during this time. Uh, so it is a meaning for me. Uh, thank you. Okay, the wind goes as fast as fantasy can go. Yeah, I'm out of fantasy. <laughs> I don't know anymore what to say right now. That's okay, that's okay. Take six.